Hello, Mioni here, and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV. The servers are currently down for maintenance, so let's look at some news. A developer blog was finally translated and uploaded to the North American Lodestone today in the title Pose Pose Fight the Poser, all about the new G-Pose features added in patch 4.4, going live tomorrow the 18th of September 2018. It reads, Zexos here bringing you some group pose goodness. That's coming up in the upcoming patch 4.4. Let's go over what type of upgrades Gpo's feature is getting, and let's do the impossible. Touch the untouchable, break the breakable, pose, pose, fight for poser. So apparently you now have the ability to stop the time of day, and of course the weather. So if it's raining and you kind of want rain for some reason, then you can press a new button inside Gpo's to allow you time to actually set your camera up. A lot of the time when video creating or trying to create thumbnails or really cool screenshots for art competitions or just a post on Twitter, it can be exceptionally annoying when you want a weather condition and a time of day to stay how it is whilst you go and make a cup of tea or, you know, set up the camera. This new feature is going to change the way that we use GPOs in a significant way. It's a nice quality of life change and was one of the most requested items on the itinerary for GPOs. One of the things we didn't get, however, is the ability to artificially change that time of day and weather, but this is a good start. The second biggest feature that they're talking about here is the ability to see and use minion actions inside GPOs. They illustrate this with a Lalafell eating sushi with a Morbol trying to steal it, throffing at the mouth there, which is quite creative. This, of course, couldn't be done previously unless you were capable of impeccable timing or you spent all day trying to get this shot. However, this will be a thing of the past and it will be a lot easier to see images like this on the forums, which of course means they'll probably use this as one of the features in an upcoming contest. Screenshot contests are going to be a whole lot more difficult and a lot more original. Another large feature of G-Pose in 4.4 is the ability to now make your character run. This actually applies to minions and everything else as well. They say you have the power to walk, run, sprint in place, and also use strafing side to side, which is really cool. Obviously, you're still able to change the wave at certain characters or NPCs, so you can get really cool images like the one they show here. They then finalize this dev blog entry, showing some demonstrations from the QA teams in Japan and some of the shots that they've been playing with. The first one here is of a player mounting on a Raffalos actually flying towards the camera, demonstrating the ability to run forward, obviously affecting the mount as well. This makes it a whole lot easier to show mounts in flight rather than just floating around. The second image shows Nupkin bouncing around in Kagane whilst the character winks, obviously performing an emote there and also walking alongside the Nupkin, which is incredibly cool and obviously wouldn't have been possible previously unless you had another player filming you do this. The third image is a player reacting to the minion of the magic bucket, whereupon a goldfish leaps out of the bucket and he's used the surprise emote, which looks really cool. And the final image here is an action shot of a wedding pair rushing towards the camera, looking at each other and getting ready for battle, which is really cool and demonstrates the sprint forward and of course the filter that applies movement lines to the screen. Either way, G-Pose is shaping up to be really useful and helpful in 4.4, and a lot of people will probably find a lot more use in it now that it's got these tweaks. Either way, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoy Patch Day. I know I will, and I'll see you all next time.